Hello! Today I have for you a small pocket pen, a special pocket pen from my collection. We are uh, talking today about the Caveco Sport 12, a vintage pen from uh, 1953. It comes, uh, you see, in this uh, original um, leather case with chain and coin. On the coin, we have the logo of the company, German company, Caveco. And on the other side, we have um, the model name, Caveco Sport. This is a small fountain pen. It is a piston uh, filler fountain pen. And um, with this cap on, it has uh, approximately 10 uh, centimeters and uh, with um, without the cap it has only 9.5 centimeters as a reference um, i can uh, put side by side the kaweco sport i have here a mont blanc 144 meisterstück and a Lamy 2000. So you can see that um, the Kaweka is uh, very, very small in comparison with the other fountain pens, but uh, very practical. I want to start this short uh, review with a little history lesson. Who is Kaweko? Uh, well, um, after Schoneken, Kaweko is the oldest German factory for writing uh, articles. It was founded all the way back in 1883, and they initially they uh, produced uh, dip pens and they sold also fountain pens and gold nibs. But the fountain pens and gold nibs were imported from um, uh, their partner. Uh, their American partner, Morton, in New York. In uh, 1911, it is the first year when uh, this model, the Kaweco Sport, is mentioned. Initially, it was a fountain pen intended for ladies, officers and uh, sportsmen. For ladies because it was very small, and uh, officer and sportsman because um, it was uh, very practical for a dynamic person. It was uh, marketed as the safest closure in every situation. In 1913, the Americans for Morton, uh, they decided to support Kaweco in helping them establish their own um, capacity to produce gold nibs. In, um, and they send uh, um, a team of uh, engineers and also machinery to Germany. Of course, we are talking about uh, um, the pre-First World War years. So uh, in uh, 1915, the Americans, they, retreat, uh, they uh, go back home in America. But they leave the Kaweco with, with the know-how on how to build a very, very good gold nib. And in fact, Kaweco, Kaweco was considered the best gold nib manufacturer in the 1930s Germany. Also, at the beginning of the 30s, this uh, Kaweco sport has become uh, its, uh, a special product and was uh, widely marketed. Unfortunately, Gaweco lost its status as the best uh, nib maker uh, during the Second World War, when the production almost uh, stopped completely. But uh, it resumes. Uh, after a few months uh, from the end of the world, on uh, 13th of October 1945. In the years uh, 1950s 
to 1970s. This little band that could was well known for companies which it used it as a promotional gift. This is the case with, uh, uh, I believe this is the case with uh, this pen because, as I showed you, on the original um, leather case, we have a Kaweco Sport, but important on the, um, on the other side, as we can see, we have uh, Werner Kauert and two hammers. So I searched for this, um, this name on internet and uh, these uh, the, uh, were uh, leaders in the German coal industry back uh, in uh, the 30s and 40s and uh, I found a name mentioned um, in a department of army pamphlet which was published on uh, 5 October 1934. Uh, the first gentleman is called uh, Werner Kechl and the second Kauert Herbert. So um, they are mentioned in 1944 as board members and directors of um, companies which worked in the coal industry. And I believe that after the world, uh, Second World War, this gentleman united and um, uh, launched this uh, company, which uh, used Kaweco to promote, uh, um, maybe it was gifts for their client or for their uh, employees. I love when um, I found on, I can find on vintage pens, some um, clues about their history who used them <laughs> and um, for me it's an interesting part of uh, history of course uh, i want to, to mention before i end my short uh, history lesson the um, brilliant marketing scheme which was done by um, kaweco in 1972 when uh, the sport little pen was marketing with a pendant for the olympic games in Munich. This uh, little um, fountain pen, you can see it's a very elegant fountain pen. It is made from celluloid and um, I said that it's from 1953. Why did I say that? You can see these gold bands, one at the end of the barrel and one at the top of the cap. These are signs that uh, this pen is from uh, 1953. And of course, another clue. When you unscrew the cap, we, we can see this uh, beautiful nib. It's an um, OM nib. And we can see this beautiful green ink window, which is specific to uh this model and uh, if we, we look closer we can see on the barrel 12 the name of the um, type of fountain pen and om om is uh, like i've mentioned before the size of the nib The cap, uh, an interesting element of design, is a faceted cap. You can see it, yes. It has one breathing hole, two breathing holes, yes. And we can see the imprint, beautiful imprint, with um, gold uh, leathers. And I hope it will zoom because I want to show you the beautiful cap with this Kaweco logo. As you can see, this is uh, the little um, fountain pen I'm talking about. It is uh, a version from 1953. It um, 
is imprinted, as you see, 12, the name of the model, and OM, the size of the nib. Um, it comes from um, 1953 because it has uh, this um, open nib, beautiful open nib. Like I said, this is a piston uh, filler uh, fountain pen, but um, the piston knob is hidden by this uh, blind cap. And this is the knob. It turns quite uh, easily, as you can see. And focus. You can see the as it goes through the ink window, and it uh, easily retracts. Very very elegant fountain pen. I love that it is uh, practical, it is small, um, it uh, fits in every pocket and um, this gold nib, this is a beautiful beautiful gold nib, I want to show you. You can see the um, Caveco, the logo and 14 carat 585 believe me it is at uh, the price that they are selling those um, Kawaikos online it is uh, best value for money uh, it really shows its pedigree the fact that uh, indeed it was a leader in the production of gold names in the Germany's uh, Germany of the 30 on the back a beautiful beautiful feed ebony and this was uh, polished manually polished and it seems like it's a plastic nib but no this is an ebonite nib quite quite beautiful it has a small flex but uh, we can see that in the writing sample if you like this small review of this uh, beautiful celluloid uh, mini pen, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave me comments because um, I want to, to hear about your opinion. Maybe you have a um, Cafe Sport and um, you want to share your experiences and maybe you have questions mm, I will love to hear from you thank you and have a nice day this is the writing sample I've the inked uh, this uh, fountain pen with uh, using Parker Quink as you can see now the ink uh, window uh, isn't quite so visible because the pen is full so we have a Caveco Sport the 12th model from 1953 with a fourteen carat five eight five oblique medium nib. Rice quite smooth and um, it has a small, small flex, uh, but uh, I definitely recommend this gold nib.